as you can see, the weather has changed. It is freaking beautiful outside. It's cool. And I could go for a ride, but no, I am dedicated to making YouTube videos. Because I had one person make a request on the MREs, and I thought, you know what? That'd be a good video. So, Florida Outdoor Adventures, uh, this one is your idea. So, I'm going to give you kudos for giving me the idea. But, um,. What I did, as you can see, I cleaned it up just a little bit. I mean, I just kind of stuffed and piled and kind of made it look halfway clean. I thought I'd leave this out, you know? That looks kind of manly right there. I got the wall and the wood and the pencils. Oh, wait, here. You got the sweaty Costa hat. Looks manly, manly doesn't it? Let me know if that's working for you. Anyways, <laughs> here's all these MREs. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to open one of these bad boys up. Not sure. I think I'm going to do the uh, pork and sausage with gravy. Not really in the mood for spaghetti right now. I could go for some breakfast stuff. But hopefully I'm not moving this around too much. But these are the these are the MREs. I already showed you the other one. So we're going to crack open this bad boy. And I may have to come back and forth, back and forth. And I'll probably have to edit a bunch of this shit out. Because I have to hold it with one hand. I don't have anything I can put like on the side of my head yet. I need to. And I don't feel like wearing my helmet right now. So... And it's where these these packages, I guess they have to be like wind, you know, like weather resistant. Because it's like a thick plastic or, you know, waterproof sealed bag. I mean, it's some serious bag. Probably could handle at least one of Camper Beast Rex. See what we got in here. So it looks like it's all individually wrapped. Now this is the first time I've ever opened one of these. So I don't know. I have no idea what this is. Oh look at this, they even got little gum packets in there. Look at that. That's all your like, you know, salt and pepper. Looks like you got maybe sweet and low in there. How cool is that? Uh, hot beverage back warning to avoid burn beverage heating time should should not exceed six minutes. Use caution when handling hot beverage bag. Just allow water, just chemically purify to stand 30 minutes before adding granola cereal. Open pouch and remove oxygen scavenger. Wow. Now I see why they put, probably have classes. Someone told me they have classes on these things. Cheese spread with jalapenos. Holy moly. Raisins. Okay, cool. What is this? Ba uh, oh, here, here's the beverage uh, base powder orange. So it's an orange drink. Boiling the hot water. Oh, here we go. Operating instruction remove MRE pouch from carton and save carton. Tear off bag. Place MRE pouch in bag with water, uh, heat, heater, with heater. The hell is it? Oh, this is the heater. It's like a baseball pitch. He's throwing the heater. Okay. Oh, here we go. Pork sausage and creamy gravy. You are. Hmm. Oh, what's this? This is the biscuit. We got a biscuit. We got a, a wheat snack bread. All right, I'm going to do a little reading on this. Okay. We see the layout. There's a lot to take in here. So, let's, uh, I'm going to get like some sort of little order going here. I got to study this. That looks like it needs some, in, some study time here. So, because I've never done this before. And I like to try to do it right the first time. And maybe actually make some food. Food. So, uh, let me uh, camper beast out. Talk to you a bit. All right, I think I got this right. It should be pointing right here somewhere. So, you gotta see. I'm gonna post a picture of my little concoction I just made, so I don't have to hold that damn thing. And I hope I got it right. It should be. If I'm doing line of sight, it should be like right here. We'll see. But now I'm gonna have to, be, I'm gonna have to redo this. Okay. So now we take this. This 
goes in here on the front side of the heater. Like, like so. There's the heater thingy back there. That's where all the nuclear waste is at. The heater food. And now, this is the flap that you're supposed to flap this over. And then it's supposed to go back into these box. These, the one that that food came out of. It's supposed to go back in here. So, let's see what we do next. Okay, cool. Don't feel it, feel it, feel it. I don't feel it. It's gonna be like a one-time take, so I'm gonna have to not screw up. Okay, oops. So did you know there were feel? Feel. Oh wow, I can already feel it getting warm. That's crazy. Put this in here. Hope you guys are seeing this. Just kind of keep it at an angle like this until you feel the bottom of the box getting warm. 16.9 full ounce of fire. Blue So let's try this horse drink. See if this tastes like ass. While this is cooking, which I don't feel squat. Smells good though. Damn. There's probably gonna be some more two people that are gonna be watching this one. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. Dropping the me twenty. Alright, this is sixteen, it says twelve, so I'm gonna leave a little bit in the bottom. Leave a little bit on the bottom. This tastes like a, I don't know, orange drink with maybe not a whole lot of sugar in it, which is actually a good thing. And then the raisins are just raisins. This smells good. Huh. Mm. That tastes like ash. Oh. oh. Okay. Don't eat those. Don't eat the raisins. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. <coughs> okay. If this makes any sense to you, those raisins taste like this pouch looks. Hard, rubbery, and brown. <coughs> oh. Oh. And this smells like rotten milk, but we're gonna try it anyways. That's just that's that little oxygen pouch that it's talking about. Hey, you know what? 
Well, it's not too damn bad. The bananas have got a really good flavor to them. So does the granola. They didn't look, eat it within, um, <laughs> what did I say, like 10 minutes. Um, oh, one hour. You gotta eat in one hour. So, you know what? I, I ragged on it at first. Because it does look a little, I don't know if you can see down in there, it looks a little, little rough, but it's just granola and little chunks of banana. Not bad. Not bad. I got more to go, so I'm not going to sit here and eat that, but I would eat that. I would eat that for breakfast. Especially if I was really hungry. So, let's see how this, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting warmer and warmer. It's like 15 minutes and it, it does, it, it puts off a weird smell. You feel the back of that getting warm, it's actually pretty cool. But while that's doing that, let's do a little comparison, okay? I'm going to do the beef stroganoff with noodles. So, in all fairness, these are two different, different beasts here, but still, when you're motorcycle camping, we're not in the military, so you gotta kinda look at what's gonna be, I mean, these you still gotta have water, this is taking forever, and I don't think it's going to be that hot, which, and this isn't, it's drinkable, it's not, I mean, I drink it, just not, I'd rather just have water, um, or coffee, and these raisins, I think, um, I don't think these are raisins, I honestly think this, these are bat droppings, bat shit, because that tastes like, you know what, so, anyway, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to open up the wrong go. Oh, no, let's, start let's start with putting on our cooker. I'm not timing this. I'm just kind of already kind of know it's going to be faster because that one's still cooking. Although it might be the same. Once you get everything opened up and if you know what you're doing, you could probably do it faster with these since it was the first time for me. But. I wanted to try this beef stroganoff to see what it's like. So while that's cooking, put some water on. Let this be boiling for a moment. do is take this and this is like I said this is the beef stroganoff of noodles freeze dried 11 grams of protein you've got 29 grams of carbohydrates total um, 11 grams of protein uh, saturated fat 4 grams 45 milligrams of cholesterol 800 milligrams of sodium which isn't too too bad so let's open this bad boy up just take the contents, take the little air bag out. Okay. Ooh, wow, that smells good. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you can, hopefully you can see down there. I don't know if the light's going to suck in here or what, but that's it. So, you guys ever want a good knife? This has been great so far. It's a Gerber. Straight edge looks real, works really well. It's been a good knife. I use it for work. I use it for camping. I, I always have it on me. And, uh, and it's still really sharp, man. I've cut all kind. I've cut a pack of wood in half with this thing. Um, it's been a good knife. Really good knife. It's got it's, the, the lock's a little different. Instead of back here, it's right here. You push it over right there, and it comes down. And then you get the flip out with the thumb right there. So, good knife, though. Turn this off, and I don't measure. I just will I just kind of pour in a little bit. And I don't know why my hands are shaking? I know if you guys could smell this. Beef rolling. I'm sure you smell beef. Beef. I'm gonna put my lid on here. 
Okay. Interesting. Didn't know that. So it's supposed to sit for at least four minutes and then stir again. Contains milk, soy, wheat, and egg. Let stand for eight to nine minutes. Stir and enjoy right out of the pouch. Okay, so what's eight to nine? Probably 10 minutes total. If you boil your water, cook it, let it set. But so far, I think this has been sitting here. This uh, MRE has been sitting here for every bit of 15 minutes. Mmm, not bad. Cool. You guys may see a nice little flame show here in a little bit. Alright, well, I think this is about ready. The beef is strong enough. Let's take, let's take a bite. Let's take a bite. Mm hmm? Still a little crunchy. Could sit up just a little bit longer. Got a few crunchy noodles, but you know what? That's not bad. That is edible right there. Very edible. Mmm. Yeah. That's not too bad. Okay. Snack bread. I don't even know if you cook that. Is there destruction on this? Let's see here. No. It's just bread. So, let's try it. Man, I'm gonna have some gas later on trying all these weird foods. Oh, look at that. Nice little wheat bread snack. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> oh. Yeah, that's, that's real good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to eat some of the stroganoff to get that taste out of my mouth. I think the uh, MRE is out. I don't know. We'll wait and try this little concoction. The bread was... I don't, I don't even think that's bread. I think that's like a... I think they accidentally put like a... a boot washer sponge. I think that's what that is. Maybe you scrub the bottom of your boot with it, you know? And I just ate it. Hear that? That's pretty freaking hard for a piece of bread. Okay. Yeah, that's one. Let's see one's a little turn mark up here. Alright, here's the gravy and pork salt. Ooh. This looks dangerous. This looks really dangerous. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah, I'm out. Okay. MREs lose. You know what? What's what's really funny is I bet the guy over at Florida Outdoor Adventures has probably already tried these and knows, probably knew that they taste like butt. And he's gonna be watching this video, probably laughing, going, ah! <laughs> "No, I'm just kidding." But I just no, uh -uh. no. MREs are out. Camper B says no. I'll take my uh, beef stroganoff. Mm. Okay. Well, guys, um, so we have determined that the freeze dried um, the Mountain House freeze dried beef stroganoff is about 10 times better than the MRE pork sausage with gravy. That was gross. That's friggin' nasty. So, I mean, if you were in a bad situation, you could live off of it, but motorcycle camping is not a bad situation.
What's up? I am. Have you guys got any other suggestions? Or you want me to cook up something else? You want me to be a guinea pig and try something you think it might taste like ass? Just let me know. I'll try it. I'll be the guinea pig. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I didn't tell you on that last video. Thank you for watching. The few subscribers that I do have, and even the people that don't subscribe, thanks for watching. If you can, click uh, thumbs up. And if you don't mind, hit subscribe or leave me a comment. Let me know what uh, I need to do better. So, Camper Beast is out. I'm going to go vomit. No, I'm just joking. See you guys. Take it easy. I'm out.